Hey friends, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys five easy, simple eyelining tips and tricks. I'm talking anyone can do these. These are not difficult, they are not advanced, but doing these when you do your eye makeup really will make such an impact on your eye makeup. It'll make your eyes look brighter, whiter, wider and whiter and more open. They make the biggest impact on your eye makeup and again, they are so simple, anyone can do them. So let's get started. Okay, so I know I said I had five eyeliner techniques. However, the first one technically isn't liner, but it definitely is applied just before you apply your eyeliner. So that is using a soft, light, bright shimmer in the inner corner of your eye. Now, I'm not talking frosty. I'm not talking foiled. I'm not talking metallic. I'm talking a formula that has a very soft, soft, beautiful sheen. Something that looks like literally light is hitting your skin. It looks like you have this beam of light in the inner corner of your eye. When I used to work for MAC years ago, I was a trainer for MAC Cosmetics if you're newer to my channel, but there was a senior artist that would always call this instant celebrity. She called this little trick instant celebrity, and I think that's the best way to describe it. It's just the simplest little technique that makes your eyes look brighter and open. And the reason that it does that is because one, a lighter color will make a, an area appear more bright and open. Also, a shimmer will make an area appear more bright and open. So when you combine the two, it really just gives that brightness and openness to the eye. But again, the key is not picking something frosty or glittery or too shimmery. You want it to look natural. You don't want it to look um, so intentional, if that makes sense. By the way, I wanted this video to be really focused on technique, so I will have product recommendations in the description box, but I'm not gonna talk too much about them in the video. If you're curious about what my favorite products and formulas are for these specific techniques that I'm sharing, be sure and check the description box. Okay, moving right along to tip number two, and that is winging up your eyeliner. Now, you don't have to do a very strong, harsh, strict liquid liner for winged liner. You can work with a cold pencil, which is kind of my favorite way to work with winged liner. The key is picking a pencil that is soft and waxy enough that it gives you time to manipulate it. I like to use a very, very small uh, winged angled eyeliner brush. My favorite is the BK Beauty 208. I also love the Sigma, I think it's the F, E1, E06 or something, I'll link that one down below. I'll link them both below. But you wanna find a brush that is very small. It'll do all the work for you. If it's too large or too stiff, you're gonna have trouble with this technique. You wanna find a pencil that is waxy and that you just create a line on your lash line like normal, but then you take your brush and you wing it out. If you have trouble, you can always grab an eyeshadow similar to the liner color to create that wing, um, but you wanna pull it out. Most of us have lash lines that kind of, if you were to follow it, it would have you create a line down, and that's just gonna make your eyes look a little more downturned. So by pulling it up, you're really creating that elongated, lifted eye. Again, it's a simple technique. You don't have to go too far with your wing. You could literally pull it up a little bit to where you barely tell it's a wing when you have mascara, but trust me, it will make the biggest difference and make your eyes look lifted and wide. Okay, you guys, the next technique is a favorite, and I just started doing this, believe it or not, over the last year and a half or two years or so, and that is tight lining the eye. I love to use a black pencil or a super rich dark brown for this technique, and it's basically taking a pencil and lining it underneath your upper lashes, so like on the actual lid underneath your lashes. Now, what this does is it makes your mascara and your lash line look really, really thick, um, but also you wanna make sure you get into the inner corner. Skipping that inner corner, I'm telling you, you think it's doesn't make a big difference, but it really does. Take that liner all the way to the inner corner and it just creates this very like sultry, seductive eye look. It is so beautiful. I can always tell when I skip this look in pictures of myself. When I do videos or I take pictures for thumbnails, I can tell when I've tight lined and when I've not. And it's funny because it's, you know, underneath your lashes. So it's a, it's a step you would think wouldn't make that big, big of a difference. But if you're not doing it already, do it, come back and let me know what you think. 
Okay, you guys, tip number four is lining the lower lash line with a pencil that has some shimmer to it. Now, I'm gonna list my favorite. I have a few of them. I'll list them down in the description box below. I personally like to go with the bronze or like an olive or a plum. I don't really like to use black liner on my lower lash line. I think that uh, it's a much softer look on me personally and on most people. I feel like a dark, rich brown or a plum or a, an olive is a little bit more complimentary to the lower lash line. Um, I love one with a shimmer because shimmer again reflects light and it just makes the eyes look more open, more bright eyed, larger. Um, it doesn't look quite as harsh as a matte, harsh, thin line. So my preference is to use a waxy, shimmery, thicker eye pencil. I like eye crayons a lot. If you're familiar with those, like the crayon sticks, those work beautifully. You can also use a cold pencil. If you don't have one with shimmer, you can use one and then you can grab a shadow that has a bit of shimmer and kind of smoke it out and that'll give the same effect. Okay, and the last trick that I have for you is lining the inner rim with a brightening pencil. I have a couple of favorite shades and I will list them in the description box, but you want to avoid something really stark white. Again, you want this to look natural. You don't want it to look intentional. If you use a very stark white pencil, it's gonna look a little strange. <laughs> People will zero in on that liner and it'll be very distracting. That is not what you want. You want a color that has some peachy, some pinkness, maybe a little bit of yellow, a little bit of warmth to it. Uh, what that does, it just makes the eyes look brighter and whiter, especially when you pair it with a lower uh, liner. Now, with that said, lining the inner rim with an in inner brightening pencil is not something you wanna do if you are not wearing lower lash liner. So if you are keeping the lower lashes bare and you're just doing mascara, I really don't recommend using an inner rim brightener because it looks a little odd. You need to have that contrast of light and dark in most cases. Sometimes you can pull it off, but I find that it just looks more obvious. Another thing is apply your mascara last. Do your inner rim brightener and then your mascara because if you do your mascara and then you go in with a pencil, a lot of times you will get that pencil in the mascara and then you it, it looks less natural. It, you start to see that liner in your mascara. So make sure that you do it before your mascara. And this is probably my favorite trick, maybe of all of them, honestly, to really make the eyes pop. Watch any beauty pageant and I promise you they are all, they all have that inner rim liner. That is something I learned when I used to do makeup for pageants. So I hope that helps you guys. If you try any of these tricks, I would love to know how they work for you. What you think? Are you already doing these? Do you have other tips and tricks when it comes to liner that makes your eyes look more bright and open? Please share the love. Let's have a conversation in the uh, comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.